I'm sharing with you guys how to create viral hooks inside of Adobe Premiere Pro for your Instagram Reels. And we're not just gonna stop there because I'm also gonna share with you guys how to actually save these presets that you make. So that way in the future, you can just copy and paste your hooks that you've already made. But you know, if you don't wanna go through the hassle, go to crispusset.com pick up the viral hooks v2 pack i have 15 brand new hooks for you guys and i think this pack is actually pretty goaded like genuinely creating hooks used to take me 15 to 20 minutes but now it's like literally a two minute process super super easy but without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into adobe Premiere pro and create our viral hook all right so this is going to be the hook that we are going to be recreating i'm going to show you guys right now start your personal brand on instagram with these three easy steps so it's a very simple hook and it's very very easy to do it's really just rotoscoping adding text a little bit of animation slide in slide out and then some sound effects it's really all it is so first things first what you're going to want to go ahead and do is i'm going to put down my text and my icons and then from there we'll add like all of our animation effects so we're going to go ahead and do the start your personal brand portion of it what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go over here to the text tool on this corner and i'm just gonna do since i want the text to be up here kind of place it right there i'm gonna select all of it so Control a and then that's gonna hit uh select all and then you're gonna go to essential graphics i'm gonna center this and i'm also gonna center 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 um except i did not want that last center so there we go i'm gonna change my font to akira font expanded this is kind of the brand or font that i use um for all my text so if you guys want to go ahead and cop it feel free it's free it's leondefont.com super easy to get um so yeah let's go ahead and duplicate this layer by holding option and dragging up uh for windows i'm not sure what that really looks like but hey you'll figure it out <laughs> and then i'm just going to do start your somewhere you do use the word your then i'm also going to make it a little bit smaller i'm going to add a drop shadow just like so and this is where you just really could play around with all your text uh properties now when i do drop shadows i like to make it pretty feathered and pretty subtle so that's what we're doing uh, i'm just gonna actually add this like right about here and then maybe i'm gonna change the position of the word start to a little bit to the left so start your and then we're gonna do the same thing uh duplicate it drag it over and then i'm gonna go ahead and just type in personal just like so i'm gonna center it i'm gonna bring it down uh, use these tools to really just mess with the size maybe i'm actually liking this this is looking pretty good it's the same exact thing duplicate and then i'm honestly just gonna move this over just like so and then follow the same exact process now you may not want to do a hook this way and that's completely fine just uh keep it engaging in any way you can and i'm actually really liking this sort of look right here maybe just move this over to the side a bit and then yeah i'm gonna go just fit it like that and then I'm pretty happy with this. So now uh, we really want to just make sure that the timing's right on the text. So I'm going to go ahead and play it through, see if it is. Start your way fast. So I say your, and then maybe personal brands up to there and like. Your personal brand. On okay, that's killer. Start your personal brand on Instagram. Killer, cool. So we're just going to go ahead and leave all this text. We're going to cut it off on the end of the hook. And then I say Instagram. So I personally want to add an Instagram icon. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and import it. For me, I actually already have it uploaded into this project file. So I'm going to go ahead and find that real quick. It's right here. I'm just going to drag and drop it into the timeline, cut it like so. Uh, let's go ahead and change the scale. So I'm liking this size. I'm going to bring it up over here and then maybe kind of in the corner, just like that, because I do want to make this behind me. And the way that we're going to do that is, uh, we're going to use a plugin keeper. It's a third party plugin. It's well worth the money. If you have a MacBook, de definitely highly recommend it. If not, then uh, you guys can go ahead and go to After Effects, rotoscope out your subject or use like an AI website. Okay. So anyways, um, the way we use keeper, or we're just going to duplicate the um, layer right here. We're going to select it, go to effects and we're going to type in key per just like so. And then there you go. It automatically keys out your subject. Now I have my own preferences, uh, detect subject and then uh, quality high. And then that's really what I like to leave it on. It looks really, really solid. Um, and then now start your personal brand. Maybe I want to have the words personal brand come up together at the same time in like a animation. So I'm going to right click these two, just nest them. And we're just going to do uh, 
PB for personal brand, just so I know. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a transform slide in effect. Now, me personally, I have my own preset packs, which by the way, if you guys wanna cop them, crispyslide.com or down in the link below, you guys can go ahead and cop them. Um, they're really worth it. Like literally my favorite one is my essentials bundle, which literally has all these effects. Pretty gas, I use them literally all the time. Um, but for tutorial's sake, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use the regular transform tool and show you guys how to animate. Um, just because, you know, if you're new, then like, it'd be pretty frustrating just being like, yo, this dude only wants to sell me, which hey, to be honest, I do, but that's only because I wanna save you time. Um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go to this clock, keyframe and make sure there's a keyframe. And we're gonna drag this out maybe like like so. That looks about right. And we're just gonna drag this down like this, not too crazy. And then I also want the opacity to kind of uh, come in as well. So maybe we started off at like low opacity like so, maybe like that. And then I also want to add like a Gaussian blur as it comes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Gaussian blur, drag and drop. And then I'm gonna keyframe the blurriness put zero over here, make this one like maybe like a, yeah, like that looks pretty good. And then let's go ahead and play it through. Personal brain on you. So that looks pretty stiff and like just, it doesn't look smooth. Um, the way you guys wanna make it smooth is right click on your position, go to temporal interpolation, and then you wanna go to a bezier. And then this is where you really make things really smooth. This is pretty like close to uh, After Effects's um, motion graph or speed graph, whatever it is. I kind of just go ahead, throw this value in just like so. Personal brain on it. I'm gonna go check this out to make it a little slower. Personal brain on Instagram. Fire. Okay, cool. So we got that little animation. Um, just for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my takeover essentials bundle. And then I'm just gonna do a slide in up for the Instagram icon. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and drag a shake preset which is just shake medium. I'm just gonna drag it on there. And then I'm also gonna drag a shake preset on the, on all of the text as well. So you want to go ahead and nest all the text together and then you can just have the shake on all of them, just like this. Start your personal brand on Instagram with these three. Fire, so Instagram kind of comes in a little late. So let's go ahead and do that. Start your personal brand on Instagram with these three easy steps. All right, that's looking really, really gas. Um, so now you guys might be like, all right, cool, that you're done, which honestly you could be, it looks good. But to add that extra sauce, I like to add adjustment layers, right? So the way you guys get adjustment layers is you guys can either right click over here in this box or hit this little new item, adjustment layer, select it, drag and drop it into your timeline. And what I really, really like to do is use adjustment layers as camera movements. So I do have a preset for this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys just so you guys can see how it works. Um, so let me just drag and drop the preset and then boom. Start your personal brand on Instagram with these. You guys have a dope little camera pull. Again, this is my uh, minimal creator pack if you guys wanna go check that one out. But I am gonna show you guys how to actually recreate this yourself from scratch. So we're gonna go ahead and type in transform, just like so. And then I'm gonna use distort. Um, go over here, uncheck this, slide this all the way up. So that way when you have movement, you have camera motion blur. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and keyframe the scale just like so. And then we're gonna bring this up maybe to like something. Go ahead and do something like this, like 130. This is all personal preference. Uh, just how big of a zoom do you really want? And then I'm just gonna go ahead and right click these guys, Bezier. And then we're gonna go over here, hit this little button. And then this is where you get to play with the curve. Now I'm just gonna go drag it up like this. And I'm actually gonna just drag those over like this. Start your personal brand on Instagram with these. And then that looks really, really good. So that's how you guys do like a little camera movement. Um, another thing you guys can go ahead and do is you guys could double up on the adjustment layer or create a new adjustment layer. I'm just gonna create a new adjustment layer. And then we're gonna just do like a slight scale in. So again, drag the transform. And then you guys could go over here to scale. And then we're just gonna do, since we are kind of like zooming out, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing. So place your 100 keyframe at the end and then maybe do like a 105 keyframe so that way it's a super subtle zoom out and then this is what it looks like start your personal brand on instagram with these three easy steps and that slight subtle zoom out adds like a little extra layer of just like visual interest and it looks really really good okay so now to like really wrap this up i'm gonna go ahead and import my sound effects so i'm gonna import a riser um this is in my free sound effects pack if you guys want to go, go ahead and cop it Literally free, why not? Go check it out. What I like to do with this is I like to go to the Essential Sound tab, and then I like to go to Sound Effects, 
defaults, heavy reverb, about six or five, and then these three easy steps. And it sounds pretty fire. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my takeover burn overlay, drag and drop. And I'm also gonna remove the audio layer by hitting Command L and then unlinking it. And then we're gonna go over here to screen. And then we're also gonna bring the last half of it in the intro. So that way it kind of has like a little overlay in the beginning, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and play it through. Start your personal brand on Instagram with these three easy steps. There you go. And then that's how you guys create viral hooks on Instagram in Adobe Premiere Pro. Pretty fire. But let's say you guys want to actually save this hook for future use. So that way you don't have to keep recreating these hooks. You can kind of just copy paste and make the tweaks you need. So the way you're actually going to want to go ahead and do that is select everything but the actual audio track. Um, I'm not going to select the key layer. So I'm just going to select this. I'm going to select this and then the text. And then I'm also going to select the sound effects. And then what you want to go ahead and do is just control C. That'll like kind of copy it to your clipboard. And then you guys want to go to new sequence, create a new sequence, hook, save or something like that. And then you just want to control C. And then as you guys can see, you guys have the hook already there for you, which is pretty dang fire. And then if you guys wanted to save this project so that way it could open up later, this is literally how I made my viral hooks pack. Again, I have 15 pre-made already done for you. Go ahead, check it out. Pretty gas. You guys want to go to file project manager, and then this is how you save it. Select the uh, hook save sequence. So it's right here and then just save it where you want to be saved. And then you just go ahead and hit okay. And then it'll automatically save it for you in that location that you picked. So let's say you're working on another project and you want to bring in this hook. What you do is import this project file. You'd have this and then I like to go ahead and just split the screens like so. Full screen this, control C, unfull screen and then go ahead, click this, go to the video, full screen and then just control V, which that'll paste it. And then it's going to look all weird. And the reason is we just need to key out our subject. So before we do that, I want to move this back into the tab so that way it's not split anymore. And then I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this, go to the keeper plugin or key out, whatever you guys want to do, and then drag and drop. And then there you go. You guys literally have a hook done for you. Start your personal brand on Instagram. And that literally took us what, 45 seconds? Of course, with a new hook, you're going to have to go in, change the text line it up differently. But that's super easy compared to doing the entire thing from scratch, trying to figure out what you're gonna do. But anyways, guys, again, if you guys wanna go ahead and cop 15 done for you hooks, go ahead and check out my brand new V2 pack. Or if you wanna save some money, go ahead and go for the viral hooks bundle. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. If you guys wanna watch me create an entire reel, literally from start to finish, go ahead and watch this video here on screen. But with that being said, take action and take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.